What's up YouTube, it's David Taylor here with Robo13 and today I want to give you guys my full overview, not really a full review, really just an overview of what iOS 7 has to offer and what it looks like on my iPhone 5. Now remember this is still in beta 1 of iOS 7 so there are a lot of glitches, there's a lot of things that they're going to be changing. This is not going to be what it looks like at the end. They are going to be changing probably some of the apps, uh, some of the other features as well. So this is just a quick overview of what it currently has in it. Uh, so really I'm going to start with the lock screen. That's probably uh, the first thing I should start with. So as you can see right down there it still says slide to unlock. Uh, but instead of having a little slider thing this just slides right across like this. So you can just slide the whole home screen uh, or the lock screen I guess no matter where you are. Uh, and just slide across and then the home screen comes in like that. It's a pretty cool animation. Uh, and then going from that, you go to the notification center. If you scroll down, they changed the notification center up a little bit. Uh, it has not really a little bit. They did change it quite a lot. Uh, it has this pretty cool uh, blurry background of all your apps. If you can see uh, right there, if you look at the FaceTime app, it's green right there. And you scroll down, you can still see it right there. It's just a blurry version of it. Uh, you can have your calendar, scroll down, you got your stocks. You can change all this in, uh, in the settings as well. And then down there, there's some events that you can look at. Go to all, it'll show all your notifications for uh, that day or forever how long you haven't uh, erased it for. Uh, and you can see right there, it says mailbox was updated. That's a new thing as well. It updates apps in the background. So that's pretty useful for people who don't like to uh, manually update it and have that little notification all the time on your app store. So go over to miss and it'll just show you all the missed things that you had as well. So that's just the notification center, really quick overview of it. Uh, one really cool thing that I like is this thing. I forget what it's called actually. If you go down into uh, control center is what it's called right there in the settings control center if you scroll up from the bottom this little control center will pop up and you can see all the little toggles this is basically quick toggles and other uh, type of jailbreak tweaks that you could get uh, that you could get when you run a jailbroken device uh, but they brought it into iOS 7 which I really like uh, you can get airplane mode Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, do not disturb and your uh, quick orientation lock so you don't uh, rotate the screen and then down at the bottom you got flashlight I think that's your clocks and timers calculator and your uh, camera there's also this thing called airdrop which is pretty cool you click on that and you can actually uh, sync it with other people around you and pass device or not devices you could pass um, apps or different kind of files around to other devices such as pictures and other stuff like that uh, it's pretty cool you can just drag and drop it they had it on the Macs as well that you could do that for a while. They also have AirPlay if you connect it to AirPlay speakers and stuff like that. You also have your uh, music stuff right there. You can change the volume uh, from right through the uh, control center as well as the brightness. Now, I really like the brightness option. Uh, that's pretty cool. I thought that was a uh, good thing that they finally brought into iOS 7. The people really, really wanted that uh, for a long time. Now, if you go into the, just the stock apps, I'll show you guys each what they look like. Calendar is pretty cool. They changed it up a little bit. Uh, I actually don't really like this too much because before I could actually go in and see the specific week. And I'm not sure if I can do that uh, in here or not. I don't know. I haven't messed with it too much. But this is what the calendar looks like. and go all the way back to the year. See all the months in the year uh, and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. That's just the stock calendar. Here is the reminders. Reminders actually looks uh, quite a bit different now. You, got your, you can, I think you can rename these and that kind of stuff or schedule them reminders. Um, when you add them in, it just looks different. You know, it's just basically uh, what it looks like now with an updated uh, iOS 7. And then you get your clocks over here. A cool thing I liked with the clocks is that if you wanted to go to world clock, you can actually change these from the analog. If you just tap on it, it changes it right to digital. And that was just a cool feature I thought that they had in there. Uh, they also have the... Uh, this is just basically what it looks like. There's not much difference. Uh, the stopwatch looks a little bit different, just a new interface. Nothing too uh, special there, uh, as well as the timer. Uh, but if you can see that this does have a little flatter uh, type of look to it that people were talking about for a while. If you go into the settings, you can see all the new UI, basically what it looks like. How they have these green, oh, let me go up right here. If you turn on airplane mode, you have this little green uh, toggle instead of a blue one, I think it was before. They changed that up, uh, so that's pretty cool. And you can also go into the settings in here in Notification Center and change all these, uh, just like I showed before with all the other toggles and stuff in there as well. If you go back and you go to the Control Center, you can also turn this off or on for the lock screen. Uh, so there's not much you can do with these currently, uh, especially with the settings. Hopefully they're going to be adding more. And hopefully they let you customize this so you can add in your own little toggles down there. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Hopefully we see that in Beta 2 of iOS 7. Uh, let me go back to the home screen here and go over to the next stock one which was iTunes Store. Uh, this I don't think changed too much. They might have changed a little bit 
Uh, it's just another podcast I was looking for. But if you go up to music or movies or TV shows, they basically all look the same. I don't think they changed this too much besides the little toggles and that kind of stuff as well. The one thing I really wanted them to change was this stupid thing right here. We have three and a half apps. It just like I understand it shows people that there's more apps, but I think that they can do a better job at that. I just, I don't know. I hope they fix that. That's just always bugged me. Uh, that's just a really quick thing. The other thing is the phone. If you go into the phone, you can see the new dial pad. It basically, there's not much difference. Again, it's just new UI. Uh, nothing special there either. Uh, app Store is the same as the iTunes Store. Nothing different there. Settings I already showed you guys. Here's music. If I go into music, and I don't think I have any music on here because I use iTunes Match. Oh, actually, I do. I have iTunes Match on currently. Uh, but this is the music playlist. A really cool thing that they did add was radio. And this was basically uh, a Pandora, but it's iTunes version of Pandora. But so I go into, let's say I did a Slipknot radio. I'm not going to play this, but it lets you skip. It lets you favorite just like Pandora, except it is for iOS and uh, iTunes. So it's very cool. I actually really, really like this. Go check it out if you have an iOS 7 device currently. Uh, it's called Radio, and it's just built right into the music store, uh, the music app, I mean. And you can even go up there and buy it. It's all built into it, so I really like that. It's not a separate app. Uh, it's really cool. You can skip through these songs. I think you have five or seven, five to seven skips. I think I think I got like seven or something like that because I have iTunes Match. I don't really know. It's really cool though. Uh, it's basically Pandora but for iTunes and it's made by Apple, so it's it's really nice. Uh, I don't think there's any advertisements either. I didn't notice any when I was listening to it before. Uh, that's the music app. There's not much else um, besides the stock apps. You got the new FaceTime. FaceTime is actually its own app currently uh, that you can go click on and then you can call people that way. It's pretty cool. I used it and works perfectly fine, just like it always did. I think that's all I have for the stock apps besides down here. You got messages, Safari, and mail. Uh, mail is not too different either. They did, they did change up the UI just a little bit. If I go into uh, here and I go to edit you, and you tap on these, it's just blue. They're going with this blue and green type theme now. Uh, it's getting rid of all the other colors that it used to have. Uh, really not much different with the mail app. I really like it. It works fine. Uh, the new animations you guys can see there. If I if I close out of an app, it like kind of sucks it out like that. I, I can't really describe it very well. Uh, here's Safari. If I go into Safari, it's right here on Yahoo. If I start to scroll down, it'll actually get rid of the uh, search bar up there. It'll minimize it basically and get rid of the uh, bottom thing down here as well. So it will uh, widen your field of view so you can see uh, more of Safari. And they did update it a little bit to have it run better and all that kind of stuff. Messages, again, is not too different. If I go into messages, uh, it's basically the same UI. Just type all this stuff here. Uh, they do have a change there with the, it says green for the send thing. And if you use an iMessage, it'll actually change the blue. So that's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, not much. There's a little uh, animation when I hit send. It'll bring it up into there, but I don't have any SIM card installed on this currently. So I won't be able to send anything like that. Uh, another thing that they did add and they, they changed up a bit is the uh, multitasking. If I double click the home button, this is what the multitasking looks like. It's pretty cool. It's like a little card uh, type thing for each app, which I actually really like. It's pretty cool. Uh, to get rid of an app, you swipe up like that. And you can actually do three at a time, I noticed. So if you take three fingers and swipe all three of them up, they can all disappear like that. Uh, but that's currently the most you can do. There's no uh, button to get rid of all of them, which I really hope they add in because I have a because a lot of people have a lot of apps when they're uh, playing with their device, and I want to just be able to get rid of all background uh, apps and just not have to deal with multitasking after that. So hopefully they add that in in a little bit. Another thing that they added in was Siri. They added a few extra uh, things that they could do with Siri, especially with uh, you know like little quick things like the settings and stuff. So I'll show you guys right here. Turn Bluetooth on. So see, you can actually turn Bluetooth on and off. And here's another one with the uh, brightness. Turn brightness down. I made it a bit darker. Oh, I see, and then I'll do it again. Turn brightness down. Okay, I made the so you go, you can see, and I'll turn it up again. Turn brightness all the way up. And there we go. So you can actually do really specific uh, details and stuff like that. There's a bunch of other new things you can do as well. I just thought that was pretty cool, uh, especially with the brightness. I like the uh, ability to change the settings in the app itself. So I'm actually going to go into here and turn off Bluetooth 
and you guys can see what it looks like right there. Not much difference again. Uh, the, again, this is just beta one, so there will be a lot of updates. I'm sorry if I missed anything. I'm going through this pretty quick. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if I did miss anything, and I'll make sure to add that to my beta two video once beta two comes out. If you guys want to see how to get iOS 7 beta one currently, I'll have a link down in the description for you guys to be able to get it without a developer account. You guys can get it for free, and it works perfectly fine. I have it on my uh, siblings' phones and stuff, and they work uh, perfectly fine. So let me know if you guys want to see anything new, if I missed anything with iOS 7, which I'm sure I did. So please let me know down below and I'll make sure to put that in my new video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks guys.